uh, we have seen about uh, various scheduling algorithms. We have started with scheduling algorithms. Everybody are able to follow me? Yes, sir. Okay. So, what are the four types of scheduling algorithms we have? First come, first serve. First come, first serve. Job first, priority, scheduling, round yes. round priority scheduling. Priority scheduling and round robin. Round robin. Round robin. Okay. So uh, out of which yesterday we have started with the first one. First come, first serve algorithm. Yesterday we have started with the first one. Yesterday we started with first term, first term, scheduling algorithms. EMR. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, what happens is as the processes are coming on, according to the order, process come first, the process is going to be served first. That is what we have seen. So, uh, instead of what was the example we have taken? Everybody remember how many processes we have taken? Three processes. We have taken three processes. P1, P2, and P2, P3. So, we have taken three processes. P1, P2, P3 process. What is the time duration of P1? 10 seconds. 10 seconds. P2? 3 seconds. Three seconds. 3 seconds. P3? 3. 3 seconds. 3. Seconds. three. Right? Everybody? So, uh, we have taken the schedules. So, first one, uh, what was the order? What was the first order we have taken? P1, P2, P3. P1 followed by P2 followed by P3. That was the first order. Then second order? P2, P3, 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 P2, P3, P1. Right? Okay. Now here in the first one, okay, when we come to the first one, <coughs> Uh, when the process P1 is going to start, it is going to start at 0th level. The process P1 is going to start, it is going to start the things at the 0th level. So, when it is starting at the 0th level, how the diagram is going to go first? See you. So here I'm going to ask the processes. P1. P1 is going to start here. Followed by P2 and followed by P. So when P1 is starting, P1 is going to start at where? Zero is time. Okay, P1 is going to start at zero is time. Right? Everybody. Yes. Are there with me? P1 is going to yes, start sir. at 0 at time. So when P1 has started at 0 at time, at what uh, time it is going to finish stop? At 10 seconds, P2 will It is going to finish stop at 10 seconds, right? Finish stop at 10 to second. 10. After 10 seconds, P2 is going to start the process there. P2 is going to start the process at 10 seconds.
So Peter is going to start the process at 10 seconds. Okay. Then uh, when Peter is going to complete? The 13th second. 13th second, P2 is going to complete. Okay. Then immediately 13th second, the process is going to start? 13th second. P3. P3 is going to start. And P3 is going to finish off at, this, at what time? 16. 16th second. 16. Is what we have seen as well. So when we take the average time, when we take the average waiting time and all the things, what is the average time of each process? What is the average time of each process? What is the average time? Do you remember anybody? What is the average time? 15 by 3. 15 by 3. 5 point. I did not get you. What is the average time? 5.31. 5.331. Okay. So average time of P1 is going to be at 5.31. Average of first one, that is P1, comma P2, comma P3 is 5.31, right? P3 one. Yes. Um, then next after this, we have taken the order of the process as what is the next order? P2, 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 P3, P3, P1. P3. P1. Okay. P1. So if you take the same thing. Suppose, uh, what is the order of the first one? P2. What is the second one? P3. Third P3. one? P3. P1. P1. So, uh, P2 is going to start at 0 second and it is going to do up to 3 seconds, right? Yes. How much time P2 is going to take? 3, three seconds. seconds. 3 seconds. Right? Yes, yes no. Yes, sir. Yes. Everybody. Yes, sir. yes, sir. So, how much time Peter is going to take? Three seconds. Three seconds. Three seconds. Good. Then immediately the third second is process going to start. P3 is going to start. P3 is going to take how many seconds? Three. Again, three seconds. So, three plus three? Six. Six, Six seconds. Then P1 is going to start. P1 is going to take how many seconds? 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10. It is going to finish up. No problem. Now, if we take the average waiting time, we take the average waiting time of the process. P. What is the order? P two, comma, P three, comma, P one. What is the time? Ma? Three, three seconds. Nine by three. Three. So three seconds. Case, we have something like three. Plus three plus how much? Sorry, three plus six plus zero plus, plus three plus, three plus six. six divided six. by three. Three mm. is going to be three seconds. Three. Whereas for first one is five point three two. So which one is the best? Three two. Second one. Second one is going to be the best thing for the best thing to complete we are this is first come first serve scheduling so okay this is first come first serve scheduling algorithm first, uh, i hope everybody is clear with this yes everybody okay then yes, after, then next what we have is shortest job first scheduling today we'll see Shortage of scheduling, and we'll try to see the next one also for the time purpose. So 
what is your first scheduling? The next thing that we are going to have is what is job first scheduling? Take a similar kind of example. We will try to take a similar kind of example. We will try to take example with a same three processes P1, P2, and P3. Okay. We will try to take a three processes or okay, we will take a Four processes P1, P2, P3, and P4. Okay. I'll just copy the things on. The phone recharge Jay and the chest. Sir, you are going to be a good person. Okay, we will take the process. Sir, you are going to be a good person. Sir, you are going to be a good person. Sir, you are going to be a good person. Sir, you are going to be a good person. Sir, you are going to be a good person. We will take four processes. P1, P2, P3 and P4. So, for P1, the press time letter is taken at 6. Okay? For P2, let us take the bus time as 8. Okay. For P3, let us take it as 7. And for P4, let us take it as 3. Okay. So these are the processes that we are going to add. Process and the bus time of each process. Amo Arun Tejagaru Arun Teja only. No, sir. No, sir. When I'm seriously spreading, what is the reason for you to talk with others? Can't you pay attention and listen, Ma? Arunteja Babu? Arunteja Kanna, Unna, Va? Arunteja, Va, Sir, left type in a pro. Left hand, Va? It's not Arunteja, Sir. No, no. Okay, fine. Okay, see ya. So, these are the four processes. P1, P2, P3, P4. And the first time, let us take it at 6. Process P1 plus time is 6, P2, 8, P3, 7, P4, 3. Now, if we take this, as the title says here, what is the title here? Shortest job first. Job first. Shortest job first. So, which is the shortest of all these four? Which is the shortest? P4. P4 is the shortest one. P4. Okay. So order of execution must be the order of execution of the processes must be first P4 followed by P1 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 P3 P3 
So this must be the order of execution of the processes, right? Everybody, clear till here. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay. So if you take, if we keep it in a diagram, will be as we get the previous one. Okay. First, we'll take the process one, two, three, and four process. Okay. So, first block is for P1. First block is for process P1. Sorry, first block is for P4, then second block is for P1. Okay, order of execution, first block is for P4, second is for P1, third is for P. P. Yes, this is order of execution. Right, Ma? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Uh, when the process are going to start, P1 is going to be sorry, P4 is going to start at 0 is the time. Okay, P1 is going to start at 0 is the time, and until what time it is going to execute? It is going to complete the process up to what is the time duration of P4? Three, three. three seconds. So, up three. to three seconds, it is going to complete the execution. So, at third second, P1 is going to start. Then P1, when it is going to complete? Nine second. At six, uh, it is going to take six. So six plus three? Nine. 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 Ninth second, it is going to complete. Then at ninth second, P3 is going to start. Then when P3 is going to complete? Sixteenth second. Sixteen second. P3 is going to take yeah. seven. So nine plus seven? Sixteen seconds. Okay. Then? At 16 second, P2 is going to start. Then when P2 is going to complete? 24. So this is how the time duration is going to be for all the four processes. Okay? Here, just I'm moving the things up. Now, what is the average Time. Average waiting time. Thirteen seconds. Yeah, welcome. First, if you take the process P one, what is the average waiting time? Sorry, process P one is waiting for how many seconds? Three seconds. Three seconds. Okay, then P2, how many seconds it waited? 16. P2 waited for how many seconds? 16. 16 seconds. Then P3 waited for? 9, Nine. seconds. 9 seconds. Then P4 waited for? 0, Zero. Zero seconds. Now we'll take the average waiting time. So, 3 plus 16 plus 9 plus 0. All divided by? 4. four. What is the value? 27 by 4. 16 plus 9, 25. 25 plus 3? 28 by 28. 28. 28. 28. 28. 28. 28. 4. 7. 7. Yeah. 7. 7. 7. 7. 7. 7. Strength of max in a middle? Yes, sir. I'm feeling faster than you. Okay? So, what is the average waiting time? Now, 7 is the average seven. waiting time of this. Clear? Everybody are able to follow this, ma? Yes, yes sir. sir. Okay. Yes, so, sir. Along with, yes, ma. Anything? Anything that you wanted to ask? 
Anybody is having any doubts? No doubts? No. I can proceed further, right? Okay. So if you take this. No. Oh. Uh. All are able to see the screen, right? So when it is taken like this, when the things are taken like this, this shortest jaw first associates with each process in a length of its time first. Okay, so it is not going to concern about how the process is going to be, how the process is going to take over. It is going to work on according to the which job is short, which job can be completed first, which job can be completed next. So like that, it is going to work. Then if you take the second point, it uses length to schedule the process with the, with the shortest time. So which is the shortest time? Accordingly, it is going to schedule the things. Okay. Then shortest job first is optimal. It is the optimal solution than the first come first serve. Why it is optimal? Because it gives minimum average waiting time for each set of process. If you take the Things. If we observe the things exactly, in first come first serve, it was giving a when we are taking the first process. When we have taken the first process, it, the uh, average time was more. But when we have changed the order, if you remember the order, I have changed as uh, shortest job first. If you uh, can come back, if we can come back, which is the shortest of this? P two and P three is the shortest. Yes. So I've changed the order as yes. from the shortest to the longest. When we have taken the order like this, the first minimum. So uh, without explaining, I have uh, taken the example of shortest to here, just for you to understand. So when we have taken the shortest job first, it is going to give the minimum average time. Whereas if we take first come first serve, it is not going to give the minimum average time. This is the first thing. Okay. And the difficulty is known in the length of the CPU request. And it could ask the users. Okay. The difficulty is knowing the length of the next CPU request. So we don't know how much time the next CPU is going to take, what time it is going to take, at what time it is going to occupy. We don't know what are all those things. But still, it is going to work. Okay. So, uh, uh, so it has some advantages as well as disadvantages. Okay. Both it has it is having advantages as well as disadvantages from the user's point of view. 